in this problem you see that we are required to find out the values of lambda in such a way that the sum of the root are actually square of the root uh, be precious are actually be lesser right so let's go ahead so first we consider that in this particular problem that alpha and beta be the roots of the given equation so alpha comma beta be the roots of the given quadratic equation now see that in this given quadratic equation it's not in the form of uh, ax square plus bx plus c so let's write down in that form so therefore it's 2 minus lambda now we need to apply the sum of the roots and product of the roots so therefore alpha plus beta is definitely equal to minus 3 minus lambda and the product of the roots alpha beta is actually 2 minus lambda which is very straightforward now let's go ahead and see that what is the value of the square right so that means alpha square plus beta square let's go ahead so here we need to calculate that alpha square plus beta square which is imply that alpha minus beta plus beta whole square minus two times of alpha into beta which imply it is three minus lambda whole square minus two times of 2 minus lambda which imply that it is 9 plus lambda square minus 6 lambda minus 4 plus 2 lambda which imply that it's equal to lambda square minus 4 lambda plus uh, 5. So now here you can apply application of derivative to calculate the ma maximum minimum value or where it is do the critical points and all that stuff but it's as it is a quadratic equation we don't need that right so we can do the completing the square technique so therefore it is lambda square minus 2 lambda into 2 plus 2 square plus 1 that's imply that it is lambda minus 2 whole square plus 1 that's it now see that it is something square plus 1. So when alpha square by beta square, the sum will be minimum. So we'll see that that alpha square plus beta square is minimum or the least while lambda equal to 2. That's obvious, right? Because if lambda equal to 2, then this value is 0, a lambda minus 2 whole square, this particular value will be uh, removed and then we'll find the solution is 1. So here for this problem, obviously you see that, that lambda is equal to 2. So therefore, when lambda equal to 2, you will find that, that our case, that value is minimum. But in this case, it asks that, find the value of lambda for the value of lambda the squares of the roots is minimum and we have to value that so therefore in this particular case option d is the correct answer hope you understood the problem okay so now uh, you can follow the same techniques and solve any problems with the sum of the roots and application of the product of the roots right so let's go ahead and have a look on this solution and that's clear your doubt okay so that's it Thank you.